Hey guys, I know it's been 30,000 years ago since I uploaded a video. Girl, I've been so busy with my masterclass. By the way, if you don't know, I have a masterclass teaching you guys how to make wigs, install wigs, uh, revive your old wigs and everything. So today, I am going to show you guys how I install this wig. I think it's my new method anyways. Is, it a good, is, it good, is this a new method? Let's just find out. If you have been watching my channel, you will know if it's a new method or not. Okay? let's get started so again i have a video on my channel showing you guys how i do my bulk up method this is not the perfect way if you want to see the perfect way go to my channel so um my client sent me her bundles for me to make a wig for her right so this is the wig i made it was a 16 inch uh, is it 20 inch or something Maybe 16, I've forgotten, guys. I had this video in my phone for a very long time. So usually when I want to start installing the wig, I always comb the hairline behind so that I see what I'm working with, okay? And then I'll place the wig on her head. You can clearly see that this wig was custom made according to her head size. So you can see how it fits her head. So I'll put the head, the wig where it's supposed to be and then i'll tell the client to hold her her ear tabs so that i can take off the extra lace on her ear so make sure you everything is placed according to where you want it to be and then if there's any extra lace first of all cut off the extra lace before you start gluing your hair okay so that you have an accurate lay i don't know if you understand but if you know you didn't place it right or you don't know how to place it right, I advise you first of all put the glue before you cut it. Okay? That is a lot of work. But me, I think this method is um it, it makes your work less time consuming. I don't know why my, my, my video is blurred. Is it my eyes? Am I am I blind? <laughs> yes, I will take off the ear the extra list on the ear. On both sides of her wig and then I'll proceed with putting my layers of glues But before putting the layers of glue, I will use the same makeup I use on her hairline. You should use a mattified pressed powder foundation or something like that. If you are in the US, you can use any pressed foundation. In China, I could just find what I found. And her wig is an AG lace, okay? You use the same foundation you use under her, on her wig cap, on her bar cap on, under her wig cap. If you can't find a foundation, you can also use lace tint. Okay, this lace, lace tint and foundation always mix. Just, it's just to make the lace match the skin of the client. This will make it blend very well. So if you think your lace is a little too light, use foundation. So it's always better to get a lighter lace so that you can correct it with a foundation or a lace tint than get a, getting a darker lace, which you can't do anything, okay? Always clean the hairline, especially where you put the foundation. You don't know if there's oil on the hairline or not, or her skin. If there's oil on her skin, you have to clean it so that the oil doesn't lift the lace because the oil will always lift the lace. The glue I always use is Bold Hold Active, which is the original one. If you're in China, you can get it from me. The fake ones, once it's getting colder, it becomes stiff it doesn't i mean it becomes too stiff i don't know what to say yes yeah, so i always you uh, put three to four layers and then i spread the layers in a very like one inch from her hairline behind like you can see how i'm doing it spread it from her hairline so the glue is on her wig cap not on her hairline so just like two centimeter on her 
actual skin and then the rest of the one inch should be behind like on her wig cap okay so we are going to do this thing four times around her hair following her hairline So when you're done with your foot layer and you can see it dry clear. So I didn't have time to waste guys. Make sure you let it dry clear so that it becomes sticky. And then you put the wig. I always start in the middle. Make sure your wig is at the right spot. Because remember you already cut the ear part. If you make a mistake and put it in the wrong spot, you, you will not have lace to lay anyway. So make sure your wig is where it's supposed to lay. That's why you always measure it first. Make sure you put it where it's supposed to lay first. And then you start in the middle, going to the sides. So after laying the lace, make sure you massage your your lace, the, the lace on your hairline. Make sure it blends to your hairline very well. Use a comb or use your hand to massage. But the comb is much more accurate. Just in case there's too much glue on a particular spot, you use your hand, it might make your hair stick on that glue. So use a comb. You can see I'm using my fingernails, not actually pressing on the, on the, on the lace. I'm just brush i'm just trying to massage it on your hairline so after that i'm going to use my got to be spray and i spray the hairline tie the head with my elastic band and then proceed with styling the wig so i'm just going to fast forward how i'll style the wig i'll first of all trim it then curl it and then i'll come back and show you how i do the baby hairs okay So to style the wig, I always use Bio Silk to as my hair serum. You can get any hair serum of your choice, and then I will trim the hair, and then I will come back and show you guys how I do the baby hairs. So right now I'm going to I'm just coming out the coming out the the glue the the spray of the the hair the hairline and I'm going to cut the extra lace according to her hairline. Make sure you follow her hairline and then you cut it in section. So usually I will divide the her forehead into the the extra lace on her forelegs into maybe four four and then I will I will be trimming it with my blade. The blade I'm holding like that eye eyebrow blade. So before I always style my wigs or maybe my my client's hair like hair, I always create the part. If she wants middle part, I will do middle part. I will create the middle part first. If you she wants side part, I will create the side part first before I go ahead. I'll and then I style. But first, I will do her baby hairs before styling.
So after creating, uh, taking out the baby hairs, I'm still going to use the foundation a little bit darker than her skin. And then I'm going to put it on the hairline. And then I'm going to spray my lace melt, uh, my lace melt spray. And then I will tie it down while I proceed with styling her, her hair while the hair is still laid down. Like I'll tie it down with the elastic band and then I'll proceed with tying her hair. So guys, um, actually I did not style the hair. I don't know why I keep saying that I'll proceed with styling the hair. Anyways, as the hair, um, the spray dries up, I took out the elastic band and then I cut the um, where I, I'm the baby hairs where I want how I want it. It should be, usually I I do two inches, and then if it's too thick, you can pluck. Go ahead and pluck like you can see. You pluck it, and then. You style your baby hair the way you want. I'm going to show you how I style mine, which I use my hair holding spray to do it. So after the baby hairs, I go ahead and I curl my wig and then I will show you guys the final result after combing out the curls. So you guys, this is the final result. If you are interested in um, my master class, actually there's so many things which I'm going to teach you in that class. Teach you a lot of things, how to curl, how to do a lot of things but this video actually if you are you are smart you will get everything but how to curl how to layer your hair how to do everything how to make a wig how to actually install the wig the right way how to put your curls the right way how to do your baby hairs the right way so yeah if you want you can actually inbox me the class is online it's an online class and you have lifetime access lifetime access and then yeah it has everything it's just 550 us dollars due to currency exchange being falling down so now it's 550 it was 520 before now it's 550 so if you're interested please check out my um instagram with at stacy benz underscore weeks underscore Stacy underscore Benz underscore weeks. Stacy Benz weeks on Instagram. Or you check me on all social media platforms at Stacy Benz. Guys, let me know what you think down below. How do you like this hair? Did I kill it or whatever? Or do you think? Or do you want to learn a class? <laughs> whatever. So, yeah. Check out my shorts, guys. You will see a lot of installs which I've done before and also wigs which I've made before. So, you can see if it's worth it for you to pay $550 US dollar to learn a lot of things. That class has everything. How to bleach your knot, how to pluck your, your, your frontal, how to 
sew your wig on a sewing machine, how to measure your canvas head, how to customize your can canvas head, how to put your cap on your canvas head so that it matches the, the client's head, how to reduce the cap, how to sew on your sewing machine, how to layer your wig, how to create baby heads on your wig, how to style the wig. Also, uh, there's also a bonus one there how to revive your wig, how to wash and wash your wig, the products you need, what to do when you're washing your wigs okay all of that also i'm going to teach you guys how to edit your videos which i already put on my channel so you can check that one too and how to place your 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 your, your light to edit your videos i'll put it on on private that will be only bonus for my for my students so if you're interested check out my instagram at stacy benz underscore stacy underscore benz underscore weeks See you in my next video. Bye.